Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Dad Life. So we're gonna piggyback on the last video we made where we did some fire starters out of lint and an egg carton and some just bits and odds and ends of uh, candle wax that we had left over. So you may have seen some other fire starters out there on the market, probably a lot of Facebook and YouTube ads for Blackbeard, the rope fire starters. Those are super easy to make at home. I'm gonna show you how to do a DIY version that is gonna help you make some for yourself. It's gonna be cheap, easy, and fun. All right, here's what we're gonna use for our uh, DIY fire rope or Blackbeard-esque fire starter. So first, the biggest thing is you got cotton rope. Okay, we got this cotton rope. I just bought this off of Amazon. I think this is like half inch thick. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this rope and we're gonna cut a length. So I think they sell it to you in like six or eight inch sections. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut a section here. Now once you've cut the end on this, in order to get it to hold together, you're gonna wanna use a little duct tape. So I've got just some cheap duct tape here from the garage. Just going to take this end and we're going to wrap it up like that. Okay, Same as what they kind of did here. It looks like they had some shrink wrap tape. We're just kind of doing DIY version. Okay, and Then all we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to dunk it in the wax that we had left over from the other fire starter video. Just dip it in there, wait a few seconds, dunk it again, Wait a few seconds. Then we're going to go ahead and flip it around. And we're going to grab the end here with some tongs. And we're going to take this part, we're going to dunk it in there again. Just let it soak up that wax. Now, because it's cotton, you are going to get a soak on it. It's going to soak in. You dunk it a few times. Dunk it. And what you want to do is you want to build up a few layers. Build up a few layers. So we're just dunking it in and bringing it up. Now what's going to happen is your duct tape is going to come off. And that's okay at this point. Because your end's going to hold together because it's waxed now. Okay. We're going to kind of go like this. We're going to flip it over. And we're going to do that other side. Another couple times. And we're just gonna we're gonna let it sit, okay? Now you got that section there. We're just gonna lay it here and let it cool. And you can go ahead and you can do yourself another section if you want, about six eight inches, just with the razor blade. Just gonna cut it. It's a little messy, but that's okay. Just take the rope. Dunk it in the end, pull it out, and then tap it down. There we go. That's one end. We'll take the other end and dunk it. That's going to hold together. So you can tape it if you want, and then know that the duct tape is going to come off as you dunk it in the hot wax, or you can just leave it like that and do it real fast. And then what we do is we'll just take it. And again, dunk the whole thing in there. Dunk it in. That end's going to flare out a little bit. That's okay. And we're going to flip it over. That's why we have the, uh, the tin foil on here. We don't want to mess up our cookie sheet. And just a couple dunks. And that's all you need. Now, just like the Blackbeard versions, these will be waterproof and you can soak it, drop them in the ice water like they do on the videos, whatever else. It'll be exactly the same. But what you want to do is let these cool now. Let that wax finish absorbing in and cool down. And then after they've cooled down and kind of hardened up, we'll go ahead and show you how it works. All right, everybody, we're back with our uh, fire stick here, our uh, fire rope that we've done. So I just want to show you a comparison. So here's our DIY fire rope. You can mold them in any shape. I did one in the shape of a J because my first name starts with a J. I kind of like it. But again, you can see we just dipped it in wax. The wax hardens and it, and it becomes waterproof and fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off a little more rope here. 
this is just some of the rope by itself. What I want to do is kind of give you a comparison of how this rope functions as a fire starter just by itself. Okay, we'll bust out our handy dandy. So you see nothing happens when we try to put our lighter on it. There you go, you gotta get right on it. Now the, the cotton is gonna burn, okay? The cotton burns pretty good, it burns fast, um, and it's gonna, it's, it works good as a fire starter on its own, this cotton rope, natural fiber, it's gonna burn. But as you can see, it's out here in the amount of time it takes me to not only describe what's happening, but to kind of talk about it. And you can see the flame kind of winding down. So here's our DIY fire rope. We're going to take a little piece off the end here, just like they do in the YouTube videos. And we're going to cut just a little bit off. Okay. And again, this has now been soaked in that candle wax, that used candle wax. We just got a little pile right here. So some of it has wax on it, on it, some of it does not. We're going to go ahead, give it a, give it a flick. Zippo probably isn't the best tool, but it's what I had on me. There we go. We got it started. Same thing. It started with a flint and steel. Now what you're seeing is you're seeing that light burn slower. This thing is going to burn for minutes now, whereas this burned for seconds. We have our just plain rope by itself, all burned and useless now. And here is our DIY Blackbeard fire starter rope burning and burning and burning. And again, just like the stuff that you could buy for lots and lots of money uh, from the internet, if you didn't use all this, you could put it out if you wanted and start over again. You could light the end of the rope just like they do in the video. You light the end of it and you could use it, start your fire, or you could just tap it out. Move that in there. But as you can see, nice strong flame, nice heat, even as is right here, this little bit. And again, I shaved off just the tiniest of bits, right? I'm being gentle because I have my wife's cookie pan underneath here. And if I start scratching that up, she's going to get angry at me for breaking her things for YouTube videos. So I just shaved off a few real haphazardly. If you're in the, if you're out in the wilderness, you got a wood block, you got a stone, whatever, cut yourself off a nice little chunk, fluff it up a bit and get it going. But you can see here, plenty of light, plenty of heat, Plenty of flame. Look at that. That's a good three inch, three and a half inch flame that you got right there to help start your fire. Now again, this will last forever. It's just wax. It's just rope, cotton rope. It's wax. What I would do is I would store it in a plastic bag. Keep this in your 72 hour kit. Keep it in your camping bag. It'll work with flint and steel. It'll work with a lighter. This is I just used my Zippo. Um, but really, if you're going to keep a lighter in your 72 hour, your emergency preparedness kits, keep a uh, Bic lighter. They always start, they always work, they always last. So again, you can see that the flame is still burning, 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 and it's going to keep burning after we're done with this video. So I hope these two uh, DIY fire starter projects were fun for you. I hope you do them with your family. I hope you go out and use them, and maybe, maybe they'll even save your life. We'll see you next time on The Dad Life.